Hello guys, my name is Super Nekomaj, and welcome back to the second episode of the Dragon Ball Super Extravaganza. Last time, we had the Invisible Men narrowly defeat the Almighty Owo in our very first match ever, and now we are going to have two completely new teams duke it out. Our first team is, uh, the kids are alright. And you will see the members in just a moment. If you uh, if you didn't watch the first video, I explain all the rules there, so you should definitely go watch that if you want to know what's going on. But our members are Goten, uh, Kid Trunks, uh, we have Boo, but they have but they don't have the fat Majin Boo, so I went with the slim version of Boo from that one filler episode of Super. Uh, we have we have Oob, if I can remember where he was. Right here, Oob. And finally, the man, the myth, the legend, Teen Gohan. And so the theme should be pretty obvious. They're all well. They're all kids, either they're kids or they all act like it. Maybe Oob, but even then I don't know. I, don't know. I think he's a kid, right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure he is. So, yeah, we're gonna have that team. But they are going up against, ironically of all things, the enemies that their parents fought because this next team is called Helldive. And Helldive is made up of all of the art is made up of all of the greatest arc villains in Dragon Ball. So we have Piccolo, we have Frieza, this is 100% Frieza specifically, we have we have Mr. Perfect Cell, we have uh, we have Kid Boo, and finally Finally, we have Omega Shenron. So this is going to be a, diff a slightly different match than the last one because the weird because the last match no one could really transform, but this match pretty much I think everyone except Slim Boo on the kids are all right has at least one transformation, and I know Gohan is too. We can go Super Saiyan too. And I run the weird thing is, you'd expect the people of Helldive to have transformations, because most of the members had a lot of different forms, but I said before that this is missing a lot of characters from the regular Tenkaichi 3 roster, and this is what I was talking about. Most of these characters, their lower forms, just aren't in this game. Like Cell, the only version of Cell in this game is Super Perfect Cell, for example. So let us go to the same stage we were. I don't actually know which stage we were on last time, so this is going to be a new experience. So yeah, basically you'd expect the people in Helldive to be able to transform, but they actually can't for the most part. No, not for the most part. None of them can. So now the battle begins with Goten versus Piccolo. This is a pretty familiar fight. Ah, Piccolo, Piccolo gets right into it with his special beam can, takes Gohan down almost a full bar, and Goten is trying to fight back with some regular key blasts, but little attacks like that aren't going to work, Goten. You need to, you need to get a Kamehameha in there or something big. But now his combos had almost made him catch up, but now Piccolo with his light grenade does some serious damage out here. And this time... Last time, you may have noticed that I did not have the sound on, I... Sorry about that, but this time the sound is on. Hopefully this music is copyrighted. If it is, I'll have to turn it off for later videos, or maybe just even have to refilm this one. That would suck, but I would do it. So... Yeah, Goten now, only losing by a little bit, I think, is what I said before that light grenade, but now he's... Once again, down by about a bar. So Goten, I don't actually know what his ultimate is, but he could be about to use it on Piccolo. That could really give him an advantage. Oh man, Super Kamehameha! And it destroys Piccolo's special beam cannon. That's almost a bar and a half of damage. And Goten, in with a rush, 
I'm definitely defeating Piccolo at this point. Piccolo is going to have to get back in the game if he wants to win this. So... Honestly, I know a lot of people, because I'm only using one... Each character is only showing up on one team, so some people will probably be a little annoyed that I put Piccolo on a villain's team, but honestly... Like, Piccolo as a villain is super underrated, you know, like... Pic Piccolo Jr. was... He wasn't that evil, but he was really good at acting evil, if you know what I mean? Like, he was really good at acting like the... Like, the big, strong villain. Puffed up, all kind of confident. And he kind of... And, like, honestly, I kind of wish he still had a little of that after he became a hero, because... He, he was definitely a different, in a different way from Vegeta. I don't think he would have been the same thing. Vegeta's more... Vegeta's more arrogant. Piccolo's more just self-assured, I guess. I'm not really sure what to call it, but Piccolo is starting to get back his lead. But, again, right as I say that, Goten goes in with an assault. Now, the real interesting thing... Oh boy, I did not expect this. We got a fusion. Wow, and he's already a Super Saiyan. I really did not expect that to happen. This changes everything. So if you haven't played Budokai Tenkaichi 3, when two characters fuse, they gain a health boost, and possibly a power boost as well. I don't think they gain a power boost, but they definitely have more health than the character would normally have if you just select them. It's hard to tell right now, because Trunks would have been in the blue anyway, but... Gotenks is now destroying Piccolo. Reduced his attack for some reason. I don't know why he'd use False Courage here, considering he has tons of health and... He needs to do more damage to beat Piccolo before he can tag out. But Piccolo, getting serious, starting to beat him up. I don't know what's gonna happen here. Piccolo is almost certainly going to lose unless he tags out. Gotenks just has way too much health for him, but it's possible that he could do some serious damage, especially if he hits with that ultimate. But he'll have to act quick. Gotenks in with a big tree cannon. Piccolo is almost defeated, and probably almost out of max power as well. Uh, Gotenks just really laying into him there. Punch him and falls down to half a bar. Ugh. Just one more good combo, and it will be over for Fearless Man Mechian Warrior. Ugh. Piccolo is starting to kick the crap out of him. Oh! Thankfully for him, he hits with that special beam cannon, but Gotenks is still in the blue. Piccolo dodges. Might be able to charge something up, but, but it's not looking good for him, I have to admit. Now, unfortunately, I have to admit something here. My recording window is right over top of his power of Player 2's key meter, and I can't move it without ending the recording, so... So, I really have no idea how much energy Player 2 has. That was kind of an oversight, and it will not happen again. But in any case, Piccolo... Ugh. Piccolo is lasting longer than I thought he would, but Gotenks is just ridiculously strong. I mean, it makes sense. He, he's the Super Saiyan fusion, but oh no, Gotenks is using his ultimate, actually kind of wasting his power doing that, frankly. He doesn't even hit. Gotenks once again uses false courage for some reason, but not sure why he likes that move so much. But amazingly, despite how low on health he was at the start of this, Piccolo has got Gotenks all the way down into the green. I'm starting to wonder if maybe Fusion was a mistake. But Gotenks has not having any of that powers up to his full strength as a Super Saiyan 3. Just in time to defeat Piccolo and take on Frieza. Now, this is actually kind of an exciting battle because Gotenks almost got to fight Frieza back in Resurrection F, if you remember. He, he racked to go. Goma, and then Frieza was making fun of him, then he defused, so he never actually got to fight him. So this is kind of a what-if battle. Now, of course, in that, in that anime, Frieza would have beat the crap out of him. He, just, he would have destroyed Gotenks at that point. But in this game, anything could happen. So who knows what will happen to Gotenks. 
not looking that good. Gotenks is already kind of at a health disadvantage, and he's really not as powerful as I expected him to be, I'll admit. Freeza with that dark purple aura. Pretty scary. Gotenks is fighting back, though. He is not going down without a fight. And Gotenks tags out for Majin Buu. Another fight we never got to see. Because remember, King Cold was always like, you must not fight either. That's a terrible impression. But you must not fight either Beerus the Destroyer or Majin Buu. <laughs> so, yeah. I'm not sure how King Cold knew about both those people. But, yeah. Buu is freaking tall. I did not realize. You see that tall in the anime? I mean, I know his model is probably just based off a tall character in this game, but... How tall is Slim Boo with Dragon Ball Super? Leave that in the comments below. That is the best question to ask to ask the viewers. How tall is Slim Boo? So, Frieza is doing... He's actually seems to be doing decently against Slim Boo. Boo definitely still has a health advantage, but not that much of one as Green is starting to show. Frieza dodges his blast, gets with another Psycho Beasts, and chains that into a combo. Boo back on the offensive briefly. Frieza counters and pounds him from behind. Oh god. It's too bad Zorb on this dude in this game. I'm so sad. We have to go, but it's just not the same, you know? Alright. Frieza, both of them dodge each other's attacks. Frieza isn't playing around anymore. He goes to his full power. That long awaited 100%. Boo paralyzes him. He uses. That does not look anything like a Super Kamehameha. I am sorry, that is obviously Flame Breath. But, yeah. I'm, I'm just gonna call that. I'm just gonna call any smoke a Kamehameha from now on. And no one is going to know what I'm talking about. But I'm gonna do it anyway. Because, I'm gonna be honest, it's kind of fun to make big jokes for yourself that nobody else really gets, you know? Like, I'm sure you guys have done it. What are some of your in-jokes that no one else understands? Leave that in the comments, too. Remember, in-jokes, slim boost height. Those are the two most important questions I want to ask you guys. The match of fight, Frieza seems to have lost some of his advance after getting hit by several specials. He's even more from that blast. Who charged up again might be able to hit him one more time. Both of them at max power now. We could be seeing some ultimates here. Who tries to get him with the Kaiko Sen, but it just doesn't work. Grabs Frieza, beats him up. Frieza probably get gonna have to use his ultimate quick if he wants to use it all. He's probably starting to run out of max power sometime soon. But so is Majin Buu. Oh, and both of them run out of the max power at about the same time without using an ultimate. Frieza attacks some rocks because he's smart. See, Frieza is a fighting genius, as we all know. Uh, Boo, once again, back at max power, grabs Frieza. Just may be about to use an ultimate, but I said that last time. He didn't, so he does. Frieza is getting him pretty good with that combo. Dang, if that Nova Strike hits. Ooh, and Frieza has reduced some... Has reduced quite a bit of Boo's advantage. And if he hits with this Nova Strike... He did not. If he had hit with that, then Boo really would have been hurt. Boo is not happy about losing some about losing some health. Smacks him with that full power wave. <sighs> Sorry guys, the neck hurts. If you knew what position I was in trying to get to this microphone, it's kinda sad actually. There is a reason I fell over the last video. He's a power up. This music is copyrighted and I have to re-upload this video and I have to refilm this. I swear to god I'm gonna be so salty. It's probably picked up for teams too. I won't even be seeing this match until a lot later. Basically my plan is to have all the teams match up against other teams at least once. 
and then I'm gonna, and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna have a, more rounds where each team plays a different competitor, and it's probably gonna take quite a long time if I do it that way, but it'll give us a real idea of how strong each team is, and then we will have some kind of championship structure after we have matches, I'm not sure how far away that'll be. Frieza goes down, looks like we are getting perfect sell in here. Yeah, I have a special relationship with Perfect Cell. As you may know, one of my most popular videos is taking other people's content. That you know, take Dragon Ball Bridge Perfect Cell songs, put them all into one video. Which, yeah. I will admit, like... Okay, that's not the video I'm salty about. Like, I wish I... Like... If anyone else makes videos, do you ever wish you just had the ability to, like, transfer views between videos? Because sometimes, you know, you make videos, and they get tons and tons of views, and views tagging out. Oh, Cell vs. Gohan! Time for the epic battle to begin once again. Of course, this time, Gohan is the Super Saiyan, so who knows how well this will end for him. He's actually doing pretty decent from the get-go. Cell lost a fair bit of health already, which helps. Go on, gets him with another special move. But Cell kicks him away. He is not happy about this. Cell powering up. Might even be trying to go to, for an ultimate if he, stood, if he was powering up that long. But he had to stay in the way of a full of a power blast for him to do that. Now, I don't know what move that was. Is that the point, though? No, but he's taken two weeks so far, so whatever he's doing, it better be worth it. Oh, and he is launching the Solar Kamehameha, but Gohan just effortlessly dodges that. Not, he is not playing around, even in his base form, just manhandling himself completely. Oh, might be a beam struggle. Oh, yeah, not sure how a death beam has a beam struggle against uh, Kamehameha, but Gohan loses that. Cell finally starting to get a foothold, but Gohan still has a huge advantage over him, still into the blue. So, as I was saying, like, oh, this could be another beam struggle. Oh, Gohan just blocks that solo comment on my hop, doesn't even like use it. But yeah, as I was saying, like, Sometimes, you know, you make videos and they get a lot of views, and I know I'm not the only one this happens to. Like, you make videos, you get a lot of views, but you're really not your best work, you know? Like, there's a lot of other videos on your channel that you wish had gotten that number of views, but they didn't. It was this video that you're not really that proud of. Now, if you actually look through my channel, it should be extremely easy to figure out what video I'm talking about. So, I'm not even going to say it here, because, like, apparently I also gained, like, half of you guys from that video. I gained, like, 200 freaking subscribers, so, I'm just the kind of guy that bites the hand that feeds me, you know? I'm just like that. So, I, I am sorry, I just need to get that off my chest. So, starting to come back a little bit. Oh, but who am I kidding? Even after that, he's still more than two bars behind. And Gohan hasn't even become a Super Saiyan yet, that's what gets me. But Gohan is still fighting in his base form. And he could easily go Super Saiyan at this point, he's just not doing it. Cell tags out with that Kid Buu now. But Gohan is gonna have to go Super Saiyan for this, because Kid Buu is off to an incredibly strong start here. And Kid Buu does the Mystic Combination. And another Mystic Combination just spans that twice in a row. Gohan had better go Super Saiyan here. One thing I do get a little salty about in this game is that sometimes characters just don't transform even when they really should. Like, Gohan has three blue stocks. He can easily go... Well, he did. But I'm saying that he could have easily gone Super Saiyan 2 before now. Ooh, and Majin Buu and Kid Buu have their rematch now, but just like the original, Kid Buu is at a pretty major advantage. Even so, they're starting, starting to get to the greed here. 
Majin Buu might be able to do some serious damage before he bites it. Who knows, at this rate he might even win, oh my god. Dealing massive damage with that combo. I wonder if it's his height. I know I've joked about it many times already, but his reach is just so much longer than Kid Buu's. I mean, it shouldn't be because Kid Buu can stretch his arms, but realistically it is in this game. I don't know if that actually matters, but... But still, but it doesn't change the fact, whether it matters or not, that Boo has... I mean, Slim Boo really hasn't taken any damage since he showed up, and Kid Boo is down a couple bars. And Kid... and he knocks Kid Boo away. Man, I think Slim Boo is not happy about how that last fight went. He is ready to show Kid Boo that no one is beating him around anymore. He wants revenge. Oh man, just destroying him with that combo. Ridiculous damage. I think that was basically... That special miss, but that combo was basically a special right there. Kid Boo has been already... Kid Boo's done like half a bar of damage to him, and he is already down like three bars more than he was at the start. For some reason though, Boo decides it's a good idea to tag out him. Not sure why. Seems like the MVP and he had a decent amount of health left. But Mr. I won't transform Sun Gohan. This game this game loves to mess with me, doesn't it? Like every time I say something, this game's like, you're wrong, stupid. But he, but Gohan, it was too little too late. He Came to Super Saiyan 2 and did absolutely nothing with it, so kind of a letdown in my book. But Gotenks amazingly been out for so long, he's back up to about half health. He has the advantage over Kid Buu, actually. So at this point... I don't actually know. Okay, so I'm trying to think of who's still alive and who's not on each team. See, the problem is that Gotenks kind of messed things up, because even though he has... Even though he has, like, these ridiculous, these super strong ultimates and all this power and health and stuff, he also took away a character, he took Trunks away. So, that puts the... So I believe that takes... I believe that takes the kids are all right down to three contenders. Yeah, because they have... Go tanks, they have Boo, and they have Oo left. And Boo is not doing so hot, even Go tanks is kinda hurt. And meanwhile, I think Pick I'm pretty sure Piccolo and Freezer are gone at this point. Which leaves Cell, who's also hurt, and Kid Boo, who's hurt, and Omega Shenron who hasn't taken the field. So actually these teams are doing pretty even with each other. But Go Tanks just does nothing to defend against that shot. I think he can take it because he's so gosh darn cocky. It does not work out for him. Uh, Kid Boo is really starting to make a comeback. He might even get a second kill today. Uh, you know what would be fun? What would be fun is to, as this goes along, just track which character, which individual characters are getting the most kills. That would be kind of interesting to see. Like, maybe so-and-so got some like, 10 kills across this whole thing. They're pretty OP. And just see, like, who, who's the MVP, basically? Who is the MVP of this league? Of the extravaganza? Who tags out like a coward to bring in someone with less health than him? Because he's a nice guy like that. I feel like maybe that's just a blue thing, because Slim Boo did it too. I mean, I know I shouldn't stereotype Boo's, I know that's a little bit racist of me, but honestly, like, I've met two Boo's now, and they both did the exact same thing, so really, I just can't trust those Boo's, man, you get, I just can't trust them, you know? Never revived those, those cocoons they were in to begin with, you don't have this problem in country. So Gotenks also tags out and brings in Eve, our fresh competitor. So, if Cell somehow managed to kill him, that would be hilarious, but that doesn't seem like it's going to happen right now. Eve is actually 
dealing with him pretty commandingly. See, this is another sort of what-if fight, because Oob never really got to do much of anything. Oh, but Cell is tagged out for Omega Shenron. I mean, Oob was played up as like, oh, he's the reincarnation of Majin Buu, oh, he's Goku's new apprentice, he's gotta be, like, really strong and stuff, but, like, what did he actually do in GT? Like, he was a, such a minor character, as far as I remember. I mean, he wasn't... Yeah, yeah, because he never went on the Galactic Tour, did he? No, I don't think he did, and then he tried to fight Baby Vegeta, got wrecked, tried to fight him after fusing, lost that one too, and then Super 17 beat him up easily, and then Omega Shenron beat the crap out of him. He didn't really get to do much of anything, so I think that's kind of sad. And it looks like, so far, that Shenron definitely has the advantage against Speed. Hopefully, Oob can use some kind of special move, has something to bring it back. He really seems to like melee fighting after this. Like, he hasn't really used a whole lot of special moves, he's just thrown in and done some pretty wicked combos. And Omega Shenron going in with another Dragon Cup. Thunder. Like, that just looks like one of the most painful moves in the entire series. Like, his back is literally made of spikes and then he zaps it with electricity. Like, that is just. Like, there's a lot of powerful moves, but that one is just designed to cause pain. Like, that's one of the few nice touches the Shadow Dragons have. Like, the Shadow Dragons, at least the canon ones, they aren't that great, honestly, but... That was a good... That was a good move. That move was a good idea by the two of these. Alright, now, Oob, if he... Oob probably should've used an ultimate there, but now... He's charging very slowly, except he's not anymore. Oob can use an ultimate, he might be able to even things out just a little bit. I mean, Shenron is destroying him either way. Ah, but nope, the Blazing Barrage Palm just gets blocked. Omega well, Shenron just might be the strongest character on this team, guys. Like, I know he's only fought Oob, and Oob hasn't really fought anyone else yet, but... I mean, Oob kind of fought Cell, and he was doing pretty well against Cell. Like, he doesn't... It didn't seem like he was a bad character. Boo once again tagging out from Majin Boo. But Boo also, I mean, Boo is pretty dang powerful, as we saw against Kid Boo, but he also doesn't have a lot of health left, so this could be an interesting confrontation. Now, again, if Boo could use some kind of ultimate and use Don Chemron, instead of doing that and missing with it, then he could have dealt some damage. Maybe Chevron towers up to the very limit. I'm sorry, like, there's some moves in this game that are just so generic, like, you know they use Wild Sense, power up to the very limits, and full power energy wave, when they just have no idea what to get a certain character. Wow, the kids are alright, really like, their are people really like tacking out, they've, like, I think all their members are about to die, but none of them are actually dead yet. I would not be surprised if those things tags out the moment this is done. Because that is just the kind of people that are on this team, apparently. Omega just completely avoids the Die Die Initial Barrage. I'm not even sure he had to block that, he just avoided it. He's a pretty big guy, too, that's impressive. Oh yeah, Finish Sign, the other generic one. Like, what does that even mean? And maybe that's something that doesn't translate well from Japanese? But Gotenks is about to die unless he can tag out at the last minute. But I don't think he will. Nope, Gotenks has been defeated. Now, I think we're in the final stages. It is looking, it is looking like Team Helldive might have this in the bag. I mean, Cell and Boo are hurting a lot, I will admit that. But Omega Shenron isn't hurting a lot, and I think that is going to make the difference here. Because Shenron is really their most powerful guy. It's not a situation where, oh, they've already lost their strongest guy, and now they have three people left. That, that's definitely not happening here. Who still has a chance? I mean, again, he's pretty strong, but he's lost any height advantage he had, because again, Omega Shenron is a thick boy. Powers up to the very limit again. He starts to beat the crap out of Boo, yeah. 
Oh man, I think it's over, guys. I think it's just about over. Oh man, it is over for the kids are all right. I think they're gonna score their first loss. Oh, just completely annihilates Boo with that final attack. And now Oob is left to face to defeat three opponents on his own with three bars of health remaining. Have fun with that, Oob. Have fun with that. Maybe actually use your ultimate now instead of just doing this. Maybe if you do that. Goku did not train you very well, Oob. I'm sorry. Goku just didn't really train you. Oh, I think he's doing it. I think he's actually going to do it. Ultimate move. Oh, quite a bit of damage, but is it too little too late? <sighs> you know, I blame Gohan, honestly. Like, if Gohan had just used Super Saiyan 2 a little earlier. Like, if Cell wasn't flying around with Gohan trying to make him use his full power, what happened in this match is what would have happened in real life. Like, even if he... Not real life, but you know what I mean. Like, the actual series. Like, even if he did get Super Saiyan 2, he would have been just too beat up already to actually do anything with it. Cell just would have killed everybody. So, this is why you don't do that in real life, kids. Don't, don't hold back for no reason. Okay? Like, I can tell... I actually have a story I can tell you about that, but this is going to be over in like a minute, so... I might just save it for next time if you ask me really nicely after this video. Oob actually getting way smarter now that the chips are down. If he goes mush Oob here, he might really be able to do some damage. But I forgot, he can still he can actually transform. He can turn into Mosh Oob, and that might even increase his health. I mean, because it's sort of a fusion. Oob defeats Omega Chevron despite the odds being against him. Dodge is the perfect combination. Who might actually have a chance to come back from this now, guys? Because he was, again, he's already proven that he can manhandle Cell pretty easily. If he really tries. And that did Never mind, okay? Never mind. Oob is dead. So, with... That wasn't quite as close as our last battle, but it was still a pretty epic fight, I would say. It was definitely a good one and Helldive is the winner Helldive now is the second team to score a 1-0 record while the kids are all right has 0-1 I am Super Neko Majin and I will see you next time for the third episode of Dragon Ball Super Extravaganza bye